everyone, welcome back to new content of Side Roses. In today's video, we will be discussing about how to unbind orders. In some cases, it is necessary to dismantle manufactured products into their individual components. This may be required if too many units of products were built or if the components of one product must be reclaimed to use in manufacturing of another. In order manufacturing, product can be dismantled and their components returned to inventory using unbuilt orders. By using unbuilt orders to accomplish this task, inventory counts for the finished product and its components remain accurate based on the quantities of product dismantled and the quantity of components reclaimed. So let's see how can we create an unbuilt order. A new unbuilt order can be created by just navigate into the manufacturing module and choose the operation. Under there, you can go to the unbuilt orders. Here you can find the different unbuilt orders and let's click on new in order to create a new unbuilt order. Being filled out new unbuilt order by selecting the product to unbuild after doing so the bill of material field auto populates with corresponding bill of material and if a different BIM should be selected click on the BIM field and select it from the drop down menu. Now let me choose one of the bill of material over here and I just need to unbuild the capital management box. So if I want to uh, just unbuild this I can choose the um, yeah manufacturing order over here as I just choose that here you can see that the product and lot and serial number is auto populated over here and we can also set the source location and destination location which means alternatively a specific BOM can be also selected in the BOM field before selecting the product which causes the corresponding product to auto populate in the product field which we have done here next we can specify the quantity of product that has been unbuilt and if a product has been unbuilt was originally uh, manufactured in a specific manufacturing order, select its manufacturing order in the field. In the source location, we can set the source location where the product has been unbuilt currently stored. In the destination location, we can select the location where the reclaimed components are stored after the unbuilt order is completed. And if the load and serial number feature is enabled in the settings of the inventory app, a load and serial number fields is appear in the unbuilt uh, orders which can be used to specify the lot or serial numbers of the product being unbuilt if there are any assigned. If the Odoo database has been configured with multiple companies, a company field appears on unbuilt orders which can be used to specify the co company that owns uh, the product being unbuilt. Finally, we can just uh, unbuild the product by clicking on the unbuild button which is placed in the top uh, of the unbuilt order. So let me click on unbuild and here you can see that we have just unbuilt the product and under the uh, product moves it shows that uh, the product uh, that is moved and uh, unbuilt. Now you can just move on to the inventory module and uh, under the reporting we can find the move history and the move history shows the number of components that is unbuilt and it can be easily identified from the reference that is given over here and you can find every details over here. Now let's back to the manufacturing module and in the manufacturing module let's create one more uh, unbuilt orders. So let me click on new and let's choose the product over here which is uh, just cabinet wood door where you can choose the um, yeah manufacturing order. So let me choose one of the manufacturing order later on let me click on save and click on unbuild. So that you can see that uh, we have just received a pop-up window over here uh, which shows insufficient quantity to unbuild. So while it is possible to create uh, the unbuilt orders for the product that have zero or fewer units in the on hand and this is not advised since it lead to the inventory inconsistency. So if an unbuilt order is created for the product with zero or fewer units on hand, a pop-up window will appear. Uh, giving a warning that the user that there is an insufficient quantity to unbuild. To ignore this, the I mean to ignore this warning, we can just proceed with an unbuilt order uh, by clicking on confirm at the bottom of the pop-up window to return to the unconfirmed built orders, or you can just discard this instead. So let's click on confirm right now, and here you can see that uh, we have just moved into dense state, but this creates an inconsistency. So if we do don't wish to uh, create that inconsistency for the inventory we can just move on with the discount pattern so that's all about dealing with the unbuilt orders in Odoo 17 manufacturing module so if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos feel free to contact Cybrosis as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video